After more than two decades, a controversial statue of Nathan Bedford Forrest is gone. Nick Barris has more from the area near I-65. Nick Barris reporting here on the shoulder of I-65, and what you see behind me is what's left of the controversial statue of Nathan Bedford Forrest. The decision was made early this morning to have it removed from this property where the statue of the Confederate general, Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, the statue had been here for 23 years. The owner of this property, Bill Doris, passed away last year. And in the will and probate, the decision-making process was made to go ahead and have the statue taken down. As you see, it has come down. It was vandalized over the years, but remained standing. But as it came down, it's pretty much been destroyed. The future of it now, not clear. We'll continue to follow this. I understand it's going to be put into storage. But after several years of controversy where thousands and thousands could see the statue on I-65, the statue here of Nathan Bedford Forrest is now down. Nick Barris reporting. We'll send it back to you for Talk of the Town.